Sade. I would like to go to Kurganau, the place of ritual, to study the carvings and offerings there. But they call it a dangerous place, and I cannot go alone. Will you accompany me? Very well. Understanding these transformations will surely be useful. Thank you, Desade. I knew I could count on you. Let's go. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Uh.
poison on my blade. Then let's go! my blade.
way. You were lucky, without our presence here. Yes. Blessed be the Earth that has brought you to us at this time. I... You one... I was touched. I am hurt. Oh no! Morian! These creatures are venomous. If their venom has come into contact with her blood, this young woman does not have long. And we are too far from the village to seek help. How are we going to save her? I know a potion that will erase the effects of the venom. I have a vial of it in my bag. Hold on. Thank you. Truly the best winds have brought you to us. Here, drink this. Don't worry. It'll heal you. Morian, what do you feel? I... I feel the pain leaving me. She is saved. You have great wisdom. May the trees always bear fruits on your journey. You have saved Morian. It was nothing. I'm glad I could help you. You are different from other Renaixi. You know the potions. But what were you looking for here? We came to study this place, the carvings in particular. This is one of our places of ritual, a place of connection. What do you hope to learn from our carvings? I... I seek to understand the mechanisms of your transformations. I think these carvings could help with this. You seek the secrets of the Donegada. You should speak with Armal. Yes, his name is Dunkas. He is also our Donegad, and his wisdom is boundless. Here is someone who should be able to answer all your questions, Afra. Let us go then. We will have time to discuss on the way. I have so many questions about this place, about the rituals that take place here. Bertier to mad, Donkas. These Renaiks have saved my life. What happened? We were meditating at the sacred circle in Kerganau, and we were attacked. Morian was poisoned, and they gave her a potion. Really? We are not yet used to the Renaiks doing something without expecting something in return. You should go and meditate now. I have to talk to them. They are different from the others. Oh, I'm sure of it. I hear your gratitude, Morian. It honors you. Now go. Leave us. My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Dunkas, the Marl of the Yigidor, and also his Doneigad. Your face markings designate you as one of ours, yet you are a Lugaid Blau. A clan that really shows generosity, yet you saved Morian. I thank you for this. Please, we couldn't let her die without doing anything. This feeling brings you honor. But what were you doing near our sacred circle in Kerganau? It was me who led my friends there. I was hoping to study the circle to better understand your culture. Loyans always want the same thing. They covered our secrets to better steal our land, to better hurt our children. Calm now. Perhaps this loyalness is different from the others. Maybe we were wrong about them too. I'm not trying to conquer your island, let alone hurt anyone. I just want to know. A noble quest that could perhaps bring peace, but to which I cannot answer alone. I cannot reveal such secrets without seeking advice from the Oda Donegad. But in order to thank you for saving one of our daughters, stay with us tonight. Eat and celebrate life. 
Maybe by sharing this joyous moment, you will learn something. We accept your invitation. Isn't that right, Dasade? Of course. Thank you for welcoming us, Dunkus. I'm sorry. You look disappointed. I did not expect your Denegad to reveal all its secrets to us, but I would have loved to learn more. Perhaps you should be patient. It takes years to understand the mysteries of the Donegada, and since you are staying with us tonight, it will be an opportunity to continue learning. That's what I hope. Thank you for welcoming us tonight. We had a good time. Yes. It was very... enlightening. We are glad that you stayed with us. We too have learned from you. Your face brims with thoughts, Afra. Is something wrong? It's nothing. Probably just tiredness. We should all rest. It has been a long day. May your dreams be wonderful. Good night. May the moon watch over your dreams. Is something wrong? Dunkus wasn't here tonight, yet he's the one who invited us to stay. I also saw one of the elders sneaking out of the village. You think they're hiding something from us? I don't know. But since they don't want to share their knowledge with us, let's try to follow them. I hope you know what you're doing. We shouldn't get angry with Dunkus. If we remain unseen, everything will be fine. Let's go before we lose their trail. Ato oi! I'd like to speak to you. Here they are. Let's try not to be detected. Why don't the creatures attack them? I don't know. Are they guarding this place? If they're trained to guard it, this must be a very important place. something we found them let's be as discreet as possible they are below get down or we'll be seen Forgive us. We did not intend to interrupt you. Approach, friend knights.
Why are you here? We're sorry. We didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. We need answers, so we followed your elders. <sighs> well, since you absolutely want to learn, do as the apprentices do. Take a seat and be quiet. We are here to meditate, to hear the voice of the earth, because the wind has changed. Close to us, Arwichnis Diri. You were right. Yoan is ready. Morion's Troyal has made her more sensitive. She is his Minundanem, and he is hers. One cannot progress without the other. She will have to bring him to the Cave of Knowledge. This will be his last trial before creating the bond. May their path be gentle and shielded. As for me, I hear the call ever louder, Dunkas. And the day the call is loud enough, you will respond just like each of us. But it's not yet time for you to join Enon Milfrikten. So, Afra, are you satisfied with what you saw? It was informative, although it's not what I expected. Thank you, Dunkus. This meeting was strange. It almost seemed like they really heard voices in the wind. Maybe it's true. Some believe so strongly that they end up hearing or seeing what they hope for. Have you learned what you wanted to? What they said about these young people we helped out, about the fact they were ready to bind themselves. We have a unique opportunity of seeing a transformation with our very own eyes. But we can't follow them wherever they go. No, of course not. I must think on it. Come back and talk to me later. Can you come and see me? Bird tear to mud. Thank you for coming to talk to me. You are on Olmanawi, but you also look like a Lugaid Blau. Lugaid Blau? Is that what you call the congregation? Yes. Those who have yellow eyes on their banner. They're coins. But to answer your question, yes. I'm the legate of the congregation. Is legate? The Renaik say word for on Olmanawi. No. It means that I am in charge of diplomatic relationships with the other nations. So I was right. You will be able to help us. Some of your clan are preventing us from accessing one of our sacred glades. Really? Why would they do that? Several seasons ago, some men from your clan came to ask us for wood for their houses. There were some old trees in this glade, so we let them do what they wanted. At first, everything was fine. But then they cut down too many trees. So we wanted to heal the place, plant some new trees. But they won't let us come close. Their bod irony, their warriors, are stopping us from doing so. I could investigate. Yes, please. You must tell them that they have to let us heal the glade.
Hear something. We found them. Let's be as discreet as possible. They are below. Get down or we'll be seen. Forgive us. We did not intend to interrupt you. Why are you here? We're sorry. We need answers. Uh, well, and be quiet. Close to it. You were right. Yohan. She is. She will. May derp. And a day that. But it's not yet. So, Afra. It was in. Fo this meeting was strange. Maybe it's... Some believe... Have you learned... What they said... We have a union... But we can't follow them where... No, of course not. Sade, I'm happy to see you. I can't wait to find this famous cave of knowledge and what it contains. 
I could probably go alone, but just think about what you could learn and not only about yourself. Don't you want to understand where your face markings come from? Another time, maybe. I have other priorities right now. Anything else? What did you think about that moment next to the campfire with the elders of Vigigador? It was strange, and a bit frustrating, to be honest. What about you? How did you feel? I was touched by the way the Elders talked about those young people. About their bond. Were you not? It's true. It seemed as if they thought that their bond would allow them to acquire more knowledge. In my culture, it is the other way around. We are told that romantic feelings are nothing but a distraction. And? Taking into consideration what we've learned, what do you think now? Oh, I still have a lot to learn. I'm glad you were there to help me understand this. Perhaps those elders are right. Perhaps some bonds allow you to acquire more knowledge together. Anything else? Did you have any fellow students? Of course. We were but a small group working with Dr. Asili, but we were encouraged not to get too close to each other. It was more of a competition. Why? What's on your mind? Did you not share your knowledge with the others? Not really. And to be honest, I don't even know if they would have listened to me back then. You would not believe how much competition there is in the universities of al -Sad. I think it's a pity. It seems to me that ideas progress faster when they're shared. That is true, but I did not know it back then. I only discovered it thanks to you. Anything else? I must leave you. Welcome to the best holy item shop in San Mateus. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? I have come to inform you of the existence of a secret camp created by the Inquisitors of the Ordo Luminous. From what we know, they abduct natives and take them there to torture them and convert them by force. And those who refuse to renounce their faith, despite their suffering, are shot in cold blood. What? Where did you hear such things? From the natives themselves, Mother Cardinal. But surely Bishop Domitius will be able to tell us more about it. This is nothing but a web of lies that those pagan natives invented to harm us, Your Eminence. There's nothing here that could... Enough, Domitius. 
If the natives are complaining to the congregation about the exactions of the Inquisition, it is our duty to intervene. In that case, we should act fast, Your Eminence. Because one of these native clans is getting ready for an assault. They managed to find the camp and are gathering their troops. I implore you to dissuade them, Your Excellency. It is our duty to fix this situation. I wouldn't want the natives to think that we were letting them suffer without doing anything. Since you seem to know all the details of this matter, will you agree to lead my troops? You want me to lead the offensive on this bastion of the Inquisition? Yes. Of course, you would be leading a troop of guards, which I will immediately put at your disposal. Go to the barracks and show this mandate to the quartermaster. He will ensure that you are provided with the men you need. As for me, I pray the Enlightened will guide you in this terrible task. Domitius, if I find out you had anything to do with this, you will pay for it with your life. Your Eminence, I assure you that this is probably nothing but the actions of a handful of fanatics. If that is the case, then it would prove your incompetence rather than your guilt. It's blocked. Greetings. Quartermaster Herbert. I'm in charge of these barracks. And you are? Desade, Legate of the Congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. And what can I do for you? Here. The Mother Cardinal gave me this mandate for you to supply me with some troops. Everything looks perfectly in order. May I ask you what this is about? Some members of the Order Luminous built a camp to convert the natives by force. Her Eminence wishes to put an end to what could lead to a war between Teleme and the natives. I see. Oh, it was high time someone put an end to the dangerous zealousness of these Inquisitors. I will order the men I have here to assemble in the courtyard. But do not worry. I will send you my best. I just need to explain the mission to them, and they'll be on their way. <laughs> Soldiers! The Mother Cardinal is sending you to fight under the orders of His Excellency, Desade. You will have to put an end to the crimes committed by the Inquisition in a nearby fort. I expect you to obey the orders of His Excellency without question. For Teleme, for the Guard, fight with honor! Comrades, pack your bags. We're leaving at once. Fight with honor! For the coin and the enlightened!
come closer. Don't hesitate. All of our products are at the lesson. Sioras friends, what brings you here? Hello, Asselt. What do you want? Deirdre requested that I ask for your clan's help. She intends to attack a camp of the Ordo Luminous to set free their prisoners. The Ordo Luminous? It's the name of the Inquisition. The Red Suns, if you prefer. The <sighs> Sol Lasser. I see. What have they done this time? They're still trying to convert your people by force. Those who do not accept the Enlightened are taken to this camp where they are tortured and killed if they keep resisting. Deirdre needs more warriors for this attack. The Gaius Rad have been deeply weakened by our defeat against the Lions. Deirdre told me that you were in her debt. I am, but she's asking a lot more than what we owe. Our clan might not survive this battle. By fighting alongside Deirdre, you will strengthen your alliance with her. And if some other settlers were to attack you, she would surely come to your rescue. You are not wrong. If there's a risk we might become even weaker, we need her support. I will gather my warriors and talk to them. Did you want anything else? Could you tell me about Siora? Siora is my twin sister, Renaigze. We're closer than you could ever understand. But we're also different. She's wiser than I am, and yet she chose to be your friend. I would have chosen differently. But do not believe that she is sweet and kind. Never forget who her sister is. Especially if the idea of hurting her ever crosses your mind. I have no intention of hurting her. Did you want anything else? Thanks. Goodbye, Asselt. Gaius Rad, Dedra, and her Sengedin Anadas will fight against the Sol Lasser, who torture and kill our brothers. She's asking us to fight alongside her, to set our people free and stop these monsters. Shall we rise to her call? Our spears will rise in defense of our people. Then it is done. Let's raise our spears and leave for battle. You can leave with a peaceful mind. My warriors will fight alongside yours and Bedra's. We will meet near the camp of the Sol Lasser.
We're almost at the fort. Should we wait here until nightfall? Yes, let's. There you are. And I see that you have brought the Gaius Rad with you. We could not let the Senged in Anadas take all the glory. I wouldn't expect anything less of you, Ezeld, daughter of Bladnid. Our objective is located beyond this cliff. The Inquisitors are not expecting us. We have the element of surprise. Let's make good use of it. We will be as discreet as a group of docentats. They won't hear us coming. Let's find a vantage point to get a better overview of this fort. So, this is the place where my people are being tortured. I hope we're not arriving too late. Most of their troops seem to be outside, as if they sense we are coming. The prisoners are most likely inside, in some basement perhaps. And it seems as if there are some in the right wing as well. In that case, the toughest fights will take place outside. That is where I want to be. We must strike quickly if we want to make good use of the element of surprise. Have you thought about how you'd want us to conduct this assault? We are behind the camp where there are fewer guards. Getting inside will prove less troublesome from this side. We will conduct two near simultaneous assaults. The first larger group will attack from the front to cause chaos in the enemy ranks. As for me, my companions and I will get inside the building from the back and sneak into the basement. We will set as many prisoners free as we can and use the opportunity to search the building. Once you have eliminated the troops in front of the building, Focus on the right wing. Good. This way we'll attack them from two sides simultaneously. We will conduct the first assault, and then we will go back to intercept the ones who run away. Excellent idea. Are you ready for the assault? When it comes to setting our brother free, we are always ready. In that case, conduct the assault as soon as you're in position. <laughs> 